before we get started i need to big up one of my favorite indie games on switch called floor kids it's an awesome rhythm based game with awesome hip-hop tracks produced by the venerable kid koala just great music awesome game so much fun and what's even better is that this game just went on sale 33 percent off it was already cheap but now it's much cheaper I am not endorsed by Floor Kids or any of the creators or anything like that. I just really like the game that much. Hope you guys check it out if you have a Switch. Do yourself a favor, pick up Floor Kids. Peace. Hey fools, Big T back again with another video. And as the title suggests, we're gonna be talking about the Switch and how I believe it will outsell the Wii. Put up a tweet not too long ago uh, showing uh, me and my kids all have a Switch now. That's right, we have a three Switch household. <laughs> Each one of us have our own Switches and uh, it's kind of crazy, but it was kind of inevitable. Uh, for one, I like playing, you know, on my Switch and so do my kids. And we just got into a situation where um, they were playing it when I wanted to play it and I was playing it when they wanted to play it. and. There was just no way that we could share this thing, you know, because of the the portable nature of the system itself. You can take it anywhere in the house and stuff. It just lends to the fact that uh, people uh, with kids, especially in the household, uh, more, you know, more adults or whatever, everybody's going to want their own switch. And that is, I think, one of the biggest reasons why the switch would end up outselling the Wii, uh, because people... Um, just want their own system even in the house like you can buy one xbox for a house you can buy one playstation for a house there's just something different about a console that's tethered to a tv so you know there's no point in having multiple systems in, in that or in that case because you know it's tated it's tabled to one tv and um unless you have like 10 tvs or three or four tvs in the house which a lot of people do and I'm not saying that they don't but you want to be able to take your gaming experience you know anywhere in the house and not be stuck to a tv where other kids might want to watch something different or the you know uh, the mom or dad want to watch something different and the switch obviously is just perfect for that and unlike the wii where the wii was very prone to having like multiple accessories for the system for one system but it was only for one system you never saw or you rarely saw multiple Wii's in one house now back then I didn't have any kids and it's so it's easy for me to say well I didn't you know see people or I didn't see the need for multiple Wii's in one house but I knew a lot of people that had Wii's just and a lot of families that had Wii's and it was just one Wii you know there were multiple Wii remotes there was multiple like you know attachments for you know tennis rackets and all that nonsense uh, steering wheels and all that you had multiple of those but it was just a one Wii console that everybody played on. And even with that, you know, the Wii obviously uh, sold over 100 million units. Um, I think it would have done better had there not been so many uh, delays or not delays, but uh, shortages uh, in the first couple of years. Nintendo could have probably sold 200 million of these things. I'm probably being a little crazy with that. But I think in upwards of 150 million, maybe if they had enough stock right now, you have the Switch on pace with the Wii and uh, that's that's kind of crazy uh, that this little system is doing that and I think it has a higher upside because if you think about it you remember the Wii pretty much fell off after like late 2010 uh, maybe early 2011 like it wasn't that phenomenon anymore it was it was already pretty much gone at that point and where this uh, the Wii U where that where that happened with the Wii I don't see that happening with the Switch because the Switch's sales potential could go on multiple years. You heard Nintendo talking about how they think they could sell this thing for six, seven, eight years or something they were talking about. And if and, and I believe that because the, the easiest way to look at that is to look at Nintendo's handheld consoles. Look at, you know, the 3DS, look at the DS and how much those sold even late in the year late in their life cycle because they got really cheap imagine a world you know in six or seven years where the switch is 99 dollars. <laughs> you know like you know you can buy yourself a switch for 99 dollars. imagine a world with that and then you know obviously 
there will be way more powerful things out at the time. But the DS or the 3DS right now is what, seven years old? And it's still selling really well. And so if you think about it that way, you can, you know, maybe by then Nintendo could even have a new console out at that point. But the Switch could still be selling really well because of its form factor and how cheap it will be at that point. Like it could be. So that's why I believe it It could really, you know, sustain this momentum it has right now. But it can also still sell really well when it's not like Nintendo's uh, console you know, leader. It's not their main console. They could be on to something else. And this thing could still be selling really well alongside whatever the next thing is. So. I th- that's why I think the potential for this thing goes way beyond what the Wii had because the Wii, like I said, pretty much topped off and after its fourth year, fourth and you know, four and a half years, maybe five years if you want to stretch it. But by then, you know, most people had what the one they wanted, you know, had the Wii and they wanted it. And um, the sales were kind of slowing down at that point for the console. Um, a lot of the games still sold pretty well into, you know, 2012, 2013. I remember Mario Kart, um, what was it, Mario Kart Wii? Well, it was still selling like 500,000 copies a year or some crazy stuff like that. But um, the consoles themselves had, you know, the sales for those had pretty much uh, pretty much uh, slowed down. And people had uh, got their fill of the Wii, you know. So I, I don't think that'll happen with the Switch because, again, the Switch, uh, you can take it anywhere and... You know, you have an old device or something you might still carry around. And I mean, we have and a lot of us have 3DS is, you know, technically those are old devices. That's old technology. Um, and people still still uh, are keep buying these things, keep buying the 3DS because they're cheap. If you could, the base 3DS is what, $70 now, uh, which is the 2DS, um, uh, the the uh, wedge one. And then you have like the newer ones. But you know, they're on some of them are under a hundred bucks or between a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars. So when that happens to the switch, oh my gosh, I think it's still gonna sell really well. I think it's gonna sell really well in it late in its life cycle. So um and by then, you know, you might already be over a hundred million and it'll just you know, it'll just be printing money at that point. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about my assessment here. Um uh showed you in the video somewhere. Uh, the picture of my kids and uh, me with our switches. Um, that picture got pretty liked on uh, on Twitter. Seems like, you know, I think that's my most liked photo so far. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, um, yeah, I think the potential for the switch is uh, higher than the Wii. I don't know how much higher, but I do think it's going to outsell it at some point in its life. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and listening. And now, see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo, fools.